All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to add um, scene markers in Premiere Pro, and then how I export them, take them through Excel, and then ultimately put them on my tutorials uh, for YouTube. All right, so here we are in Premiere, and as I'm going through, I will use the shortcut Insert, and then I'll press it again, and it brings up the marker stuff, and I can type whatever I want in the names and the comments, and it has the time code. Um, another shortcut that you can use, the default shortcut is pressing M, and then M twice. So um, I'm not sure if insert is uh, standard. Um, I couldn't find that out, but that's what I like to use. Window markers. And if you have anything selected, you will not see your markers. You have to click on a blank part of the timeline in order to see your markers, okay? And then we want to select all the markers. There is not a way to select all, which is kind of lame, but you can come here, you can hold control, and then you can click, 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 click. Next up, I am going to go to File, Export, and then markers, and I'm gonna export it as a CSV. I'm gonna save it to my folder that I like to go to, and then um, preferences, timestamps, that's the name of this video. Okay, so that exported. All right, so now I've got this CSV that was generated, and I'm gonna open it in Excel. I'm gonna press Control minus to get rid of this uh, row that I didn't need. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do things the long way first and then uh, I can make it a formula that's all in one after I figured it out. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go file, save as, and I'm gonna save this as a, an Excel workbook instead of the CSV, because the CSV won't save the formula that I put into it. So, um, for YouTube, okay. So now, I, and that's very important to do because it's kind of frustrating to figure out the whole formula, save, open it back up, and then it disappears. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I need to get rid of, so the only stuff that I really care about is this in, and then the marker name, and then the description. So those are the only three that I care about, but every time that I do this, um, Premiere's always gonna give me this many columns. All right, so G, let's say, equals, it starts a, a formula, and I'm gonna say substitute, and I'm going to tell it I want C2, comma, and then I'm gonna put in um, quotes because these are um, symbols that might do other things in coding if we don't put quotes around them. Uh, semicolon, and then colon, and then parenthesis. So now, all the semicolons are replaced with colons. Great. So if I wanted to, I could drag that little thing down. I'm good. All right, next goal, I wanna get rid of the milliseconds. I don't need those. So here, I'm gonna come up and do another one. And this is going to be left. This takes the left word. So because all of the letters are not, or all the numbers and the symbols are not separated by a space, it's just taking the whole first thing that we have there. And now I am going to put parentheses and I'm going to tell it that I want G2 and then len, which is length of G2. And then I'm gonna minus three from it and then put a parenthesis. Okay, great. So it got rid of the last three characters, which were the two numbers and the colon. So if I wanted to, I could drag this down and I'm happy with that. Next up, what I want is I want the timestamp um, combined with the marker name and the description name. So I'm gonna say this is equal to H2. And this is gonna add to it. And then in parentheses, I wanna put a dash space because I want that to be in between the time code and the description stuff. Next, I want there to be A2. Oh, but I need it to be and, and A2. 
Next up, we are going to do and, and I want to put a period and a space. Then I'm going to have and b2. All right, cool. So now when I get to YouTube, it will all be uh, in the right format that I need it to be. So I could stop here and I could copy all this stuff, but I am going to show you how to um, condense this so it's one function instead of three columns of functions or formulas. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this formula. Oops. Copy that formula. Press escape, come over here. Okay. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through anywhere that has um, a formula it's referring to. I'm going to paste the formula in here. So B2 and A2, those are fine. It's the H2 that I need to go to. So I'm going to go to H2. I'm going to copy this stuff, everything except for the equals. I'm going to press escape to get out of that. I'm going to come here and then I'm going to paste it, control V, press enter. Okay. So now I've worked a little bit of this stuff out. Now G2, that's coming over here and it's referring to the substitute stuff. So I'm gonna copy everything except the equals. I'm gonna press escape. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna paste that in place of G2. And then I'm gonna press enter. Okay. So now I have everything here. I wouldn't have to have the three columns anymore. So I would be able to copy this kind of a function from Excel and then open up another copy of the timestamp stuff and paste it there. Um, and I'll try to go through that in a little bit. But for right now, I wanna show you how to get this to YouTube. I'm just gonna select all of these things and press Control C to copy. And now I'm gonna go to my YouTube here and I'm gonna press paste. I'll go ahead and type in contents. And then one really important thing to do is to type 00 colon 00 colon 00. You have to have a zero timestamp in order for this next part to work. I'm going to save and then I'm going to go view it on YouTube. And now I have these little chunks that are called chapters and um, people can more easily navigate through the different parts of the video. And down here in the contents area, you can see all the time codes and people could navigate through there as well. So super handy. Okay, so I found different ways of making it so that you can save um, your custom formula and access it, but uh, it's kind of complex and I'd rather just go with the easy way. So here's my easy way of transferring this formula to another document, okay? So you'll come here, click on where you have your formula, come up here and press copy, open up a different uh, Excel document that you've exported with notes and come in here and simply paste it, press enter, uh, control V to paste it, and then drag that down and you're good. It only took a few seconds to do that. Um, with the other ways that I saw that you could do it, I'll just give you an idea of what you could Google if you wanna look into it is that you would go to um, uh, formulas and then you do um, def define name and then you can name, uh, you just you paste what the formula is in here. You name it something, there's rules. I would call it like premier markers, timestamps. Uh, you have to have underscores and only um, there's rules like letters and then you press okay and so now if you ever wanted to if you're in the same document and you press equals and you type um premiere it'll bring it up press tab press enter uh i kind of wonder if well that looked kind of weird that didn't really work uh maybe you have to be in the g column um but if you wanted to save that, you have to go to File, Save As, and then you choose um, More Options, and then you go through uh, making it an add-in. And I didn't have a lot of success at this, 
but making it an add-in and then enabling it in other in Excel in general, uh, then you can have that as a formula that will always load with all of your instances of Excel. But I think it's easy enough to just copy um, from one, uh, just copy that formula from here to another place. Okay, there's one more tip I want to give you about how I would recommend how to easily find the document where you have your um, your function. I mean, you could save like a brand new Excel document that just has that function saved in it, or you could do this, go to file, and I have saved this where I want it to. Um, I save my projects by year and then YouTube source. And so what I can do is once I have this here, I can pin this document so that whenever I have a big long list of documents here, and it's been a while since I made one of these tutorials and it's been a while since I needed to do the timestamp stuff. Now I can just click on pinned timestamps for YouTube, click on it. It opens right up to this document and I can go copy this and paste it to a new file. So there you go. Make your life a little bit easier. See you soon.